Tutorial video of HitBot 6 Axis Cobit Installation guide for the robotic arm Locate the control box The back of the control box contains power and data connection ports Warning uh, During the cable connection process, the device must be power off Take out the connection cable and connect it to the control box After connecting the interface, tighten it clockwise. Take the signal cable and connect it to the control box. After connecting the interface, tighten it clockwise. Take out the power cable and connect it to the power interface. Take one internet cable. Connect one end to the control box network port. Connect the other end to the computer network port. Turn on the power and the power indicator light will turn green. Wiring is complete. Robot drag and teach demonstration. During the process, on the R axis side of the robotic arm, find the handheld teaching button. Press and hold the button. The indicator light changes from green to blue, indicating that handheld teaching function is ready. On the software side, create a new project file. Record the handheld positions. Hold down the teaching button. Drag the robotic arm to the needed position. Release the button. At the same time, save the positions at software. Repeat the above steps until all positions are set. After setting the positions, add the loop module. Enter the number of cycles. Click Add and Apply. Add position module. Select the recorded positions to add one by one. After adding the positions, click Apply. Click the Mode Switch button at the top. To switch to automatic mode, click the start button at the top to run. Drag and teach is complete. Demonstration of manual adjustment of positions for each joint of the COVID. Click the plus or minus sign on the first row to move the joint one. The second row controls the movement of the joint 2. The third row controls the movement of the joint 3. The fourth row controls the movement of the joint 4. The fifth row controls the movement of the joint 5. The sixth row controls the movement of the joint 6 and axis. Instructions for using the control box. Start teaching positions. After pressing the mode switch key, then press the start key. Teaching starts automatically. Press the button to activate the emergency stop. Press the button to activate the emergency stop. If you press emergency button, the program will be stopped. You need to restart the control box to do all operations. Installation of the robotic arm electric gripper. Prepare an gripper. An allen wrench. And two allen screws. Align the gripper with the flange of the robotic. Locate the screw lock holes. Tighten the two Allen screws. On the side of the machine, locate the installation holes. Connect the data transmission line. Tighten it by rotating it clockwise. Instructions for operating the gripper. 
Click on the and I'll control interface. Controlling the two and I/O switches to control the opening and closing of the gripper. The process for programming the gripper's cyclic motion. Click the Add Loop button. Add an I/O control module. Set it to Start and then Close. After setting it up, click Add and Apply. The program will automatically generate the corresponding modules at a waiting time to set the interval between modules. After setting it up, click Add and Apply. Repeat the same steps to complete the configuration of the gripper. Instructions for using the robot to work with gripper. Create a new action group. Manually teach or use software to move the robotic. To perform the desired actions, once the program is done, switch to automatic mode. Click Start. The robot will run according to the stated runtime.